Hey guys, and welcome to the happy hour. My name is Jamie Ivy, and I am your host. And I'm so glad you're here. Whatever you're doing, if you're driving, if you're washing dishes, if you're working out, if you're just sitting and doing nothing, thank you for spending that time with me. Um, today's guest on the show is a friend of mine named Ashley Benson. Ashley and I actually knew each other when we were little kids, and then we reconnected later on in life. And she just has a lot of awesome stuff going on in her life. Um, she's got a great blog that she runs that she has fitness and health information on. She makes all of her, like most of her own cleaning supplies, which when anyone does that, I just am in awe. Um, she's a Pilates instructor. She loves fitness. She loves healthy eating. She has two kids. She homeschools. She's just a, got a lot of great stuff going on. And so I'm happy for her to share with you guys today. We talk a lot about um, just what it looked like for her to take a hobby of fitness and turn that into a business. Um, we talk about her daughter's school. She goes to a farm school. We talk about snorkeling in the British Vir- Virgin Islands. She also leads a vacation where you do workouts. And at first I wasn't for sure, but she might have sold me on it by the end. Uh, we talk about her new Pilates um, stuff that she does. Um, a lot of fun stuff about marriage and dating and movies that involve dancing. It's just a fun conversation. So I hope you enjoy it. Once again, if you'd love to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, then you will always get them when they're brand new. It just comes straight to your device. Um, I love your comments and ratings that you leave at Healthy and Find the Show. Most of all, thanks for listening to the happy hour. I hope that this hour is fun for you. I hope it's encouraging. Um, and thanks for listening. Here's Ashley. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Ashley, welcome to the happy hour. Hey, thanks, Jamie. Thanks for having me on. Okay, this is super fun, and um, you're going to have just a blast chatting, and I know that people are going to love chatting with us. I always feel like whenever we're having the happy hour, things that people have said to me is like, it always feels like I'm just hanging out with you and your girlfriend, and so that's what it is. Oh, cool. I can do that. You can do that. You can hang out (laughs) with girlfriends. I'm good at that, Okay, tell everybody real quick who Ashley Benson is. Oh, okay. Um, Well... I am a wife, mother. I've got two kids. Um, I love animals. We've got a few running around. Um, For a hobby and a job, I'm a personal trainer, Pilates instructor. I have a health and fitness blog. I like healthy things and just kind of committed to living out loud on my search for better health, I guess. I love that. That really does sum you up from everything that I know about you. (laughs) That's so awesome. Now... I have a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about, but first okay. of all, you just said that Pilates and fitness is like a hobby and a job for you. What did it yes. start out as? A hobby? Um, I would say yes. It started out as a hobby. Um, I did play sports in college, so that was more of a job. Um, then I decided to get my degree in kinesiology. So. But because it was a hobby, and I was just so curious, mainly for my own self, I wanted to know the answers for me first, and that's kind of what got me into it. And um, and then I fell in love with helping people and coaching and encouraging um, from there. And the Pilates actually came about um, when I was teaching, you know, all the fun, you know, aerobics, step aerobics, and all this, you know, fun hyper. Where did you teach that? Um, in Houston at Memorial Hermann Wellness Center oh, yeah. and at some YMCA's uh-huh. and yeah, so I loved that energy. And then my boss was like, "Hey, I want to make you a Pilates instructor here." And I was like, "Pilots? Okay. What's pilots? Yeah. You know?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, well that'll be boring, but at least you know it's another class. It'll be easy." Right. So I started going to her classes, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's hard!" And I couldn't do some of the movements, and so I came home and were like, just practice because I'm not going to teach unless I can master everyone, you know, yeah. and, uh, and anyway, it was kind of cool because about a month later, I'm not looking for results or anything. I'm just learning to teach it. Uh-huh. Um, my husband, Jeremy was like, Hey, your body's kind of changing a little bit. And so I started hey. getting results. I know. I was like, well, this is kind of fantastic. So, um, just as I've started, you know, getting older and really wanting my body strong, you know, joint wise right. and way beyond, you know, the muscles and looking good. That's so um, funny. Yeah. Then I just decided to really stick with that. And I do love the strength training and different things. Okay. I've never done Pilates. 
Um, I did yoga once. I went with a girlfriend to the Y, and we, I went to the yoga class, and halfway through I left because, <laughs> A, I couldn't do anything they were doing. B, it was way too quiet in there, and I yeah. felt like it was un- making me uncomfortable. And C, I wasn't sweating. And I was like, I need to go run. This is not working for me. And so I left. <laughs> nice. And I was you done. Did, you, so you didn't do hot yoga? <laughs> I've never done hot yoga. Sweat. Okay, you know, hot yoga, I live in Austin and actually lives in Murfreesboro outside of Nashville. Is hot yoga big there? Yes. It's big here too. Yeah, it's a big deal. And I haven't done it and I don't do yoga. I just really focus in on the Pilates. And that that was a hang up for me too. Like I want to sweat. I want my heart rate to be up. But Pilates has taught me so much about uh, the human body and precision and... um, just um, how m- more effective, I guess, exercise can be in your results okay. if you put that kind of focus into it. So, um, yeah. Now, I did train out of my garage for a couple years. And That's so we thought. did sweat in yeah. the summer. I loved that. I loved making people sweat. So it's good. But it was just because you're in a garage. Yeah, just because it was hot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what sports did you play in college? Volleyball. Awesome. And then, um, so I think I have a lot of friends who are like thinking to themselves that they love fitness and they're just like you. Was it hard for you to take that from just like a love of a hobby and then turn it into a job? Uh, no. It was easy? Yeah. And really, um, it kind of goes back to, you know, my dad and his brother because my dad's brother, my uncle, was a professional powerlifter in the yeah. early 80s. So, like, they were always in the gym and, like, all this CrossFit stuff. Uh-huh. Now they were doing it. And I grew up l- watching that. And then in the sixth grade, my dad had, you know, gave me a pole and taught me how to do squats correctly. And, <laughs> and then we had all this equipment in our garage. So growing up, I was just in there. Around That's it, yeah. How I, I hung out with my dad. And... um when I was in high school, I remember being at the gym with my dad and his brother, you know, I, they were my workout partners so and, fun. um, yeah, and they, he would always just like drill me and coach me like, you can't, you know, never say can't and you know, all that kind of stuff. And he made me do, um, a, a bit, a heavy deadlift, you know? And I thought, I told him I can't do 135 pound deadlift when I was in high school. Yeah. And he, my uncle, like got all in my face. He's like, yes, you can, you know, I was like, <laughs> Okay, I'll try. And I did it. And so it was just, uh, just accomplishing things like that was just great. So I guess it goes back to the hobby. It goes way back. And yeah, watched my dad coach me and then coach my friends, anyone that came over to our house, you know, uh, he, he was always making sure everybody knew how to Do have good form. Okay. So now when you started your business though, you were stay at home mom. Is that right? Yes. So you're stay at home yes. mom. You homeschool as well, don't you? Right. Yes. Homeschool, <laughs> married, two kids. Yeah. And then you're going to start a business, which I think yeah. that is like a lot of women can find a really great way to make income from themselves and make their own hours and do what you, is that one of the things that kind of like pulled you towards starting a business? Um yeah, yes, like basically because I was doing this when we were in Houston and then we moved to Tennessee when Taylor, my fr- my daughter, um she was 2. And so I moved out here and I was like playing with the idea of start to work in gyms and all this. And I just, I didn't want to, like we just moved here. I just wanted to be at home. And, um, but then a few of my friends found out I do that and they were like, you know, let's do some classes. And so it just started that way. So, um, the first year I had like three different locations, just real silly little, you know, they were great classes actually. Um, but I learned a lot about the business. Like, I was awful. <laughs> and, At the business um, side? Yeah, yes, because I didn't really think, well, I'm doing this on my own now. I yeah. just wanted to teach some classes. Um, and then, so we moved, and I, when we were looking at this house, I walked into the garage, and I was like, <gasps> you know, it was actually an awful, dingy, dark, dirty garage. And right. I saw this, like, like, really cool, beautiful, like, gym. You and saw so what it could be. I did. Like when I opened that door, I, I saw it. And, um, so I was like, Hey, Jeremy, guess what? You don't get a garage. I kicked him out. And I mean, it was just such a small space, but I painted it and had cool lighting. And, uh-huh. um, okay. So I thought, 
first of all, I just kind of wanted my own place to work out because I've got some equipment and and then I did one open house and invited my friends. I was like, you know, come if you want. And I was all nervous about it and people came over and that was the last marketing I did for six years. Shut up. <laughs> and I was as busy as I wanted to be. I had a waiting list and I could always do it around my kids. So right. um, I would train in the evenings or like 6 a.m. like uh -huh. before, you know, when they were getting up and getting breakfast. And so it worked really well and it was great to be home always. And so like in the evenings, afternoon evenings, um, my kids and the whole neighborhood, it feels like we're in my backyard. Our garage is open. We're working out. We have our music going. It was just hangout. It was casual. And I found that my clients really loved it. And, um, and then the other funny thing, how my blog started, if you were going to ask me that. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> um, was like in the winter, I'd have the door shut and heat it. So people would have to come through my kitchen, which isn't always fun. Right. But, you know, it just became part of our life. And um, so I'd be cooking. I could, like, cook and work at the same time. Uh -huh. I'd be like, hey, you're resting for, like, a minute. Let me go stir my stuff, you know. <laughs> so I'd run in and stir it. And so um, people would come in and ask what I'm cooking and taste it. And I'm not a great cook. So it was weird to me that they cared. Right. And then I gave tours of my refrigerator and pantry. And the whole time I'm thinking, this is so bizarre. But people want to know, what, yeah. what am I eating? How am I feeding my family? And, um, at that point, you know, Jeremy was like, why don't you just do a blog and put it up there? And I thought that was absolutely insane. Like, who how would long ago was this? Um, I started the blog in 2011. Okay. And, um, that was my first, actually, I think, yeah, January, I believe. It was so, like a um, New Year's resolution for January. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, if anyone cares, but really the heart behind it was to be, a continued uh, conversation that I have with my clients. You know, so good. we're hanging out for a, an hour, a couple of times a week. Um, health and fitness lifestyle go well beyond that. And so if I could encourage them. And, and so I've just absolutely loved sharing on that. Well, I used your blog a lot last year because last January I did the slow carb challenge. Yeah. Did you start, did you start a challenge? Is that how I got into it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I did the slow carb challenge last January and it was six weeks. Am I right about yes. that? And I actually lost like 13 pounds. Now I've gained it all back since then, but I did lose <laughs> 13 pounds on it, but it was so easy to do for me. Like it was really cool. easy. And what helped me a lot was your blog because that's I could awesome. go in and look at your grocery list and your recipes and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's, I, I love it. <clears throat> I'm so glad. And honestly, like the, there, they were my actual, shopping list. Yeah. You know, and I, I remember like I was in Trader Joe's and I had my, um, smoothie shopping list. Uh -huh. That's a big one. That's, um, done real well on Pinterest. Yeah. And so I, I actually had a smoothie shopping list. So if I have this stuff on hand and I had a smoothie bar in my house so that Taylor and my kids can go make their own, uh -huh. cause I don't love being in the kitchen. I kind of want everybody to know how to do their own thing. Right. You know, uh, for snacks and breakfast. And so, um, I, you know, I was looking at my tacky list and I was like, oh, I want to make this cute looking. Maybe somebody else uh -huh. could just print it up and take it. And it's been good. That's and so, so good. Yeah. So then I made, now I just make some shopping lists and it's so good. Yeah. And if you're listening, I'll put all of these links that we talk about as I always do on my website. Um, and then you can follow along and do your own thing. Ashley, there's there. I want to talk. I want to tell you what I want to talk about. So we make sure we don't get miss anything. Okay. I want to talk about your trips to New York. I want to hear about your um, trip to the British Virgin Islands because I've oh. been to St. John's Island twice. Oh, okay. So I want to talk about that. I also want to talk about some movies. I have a little movie question thing I want us to go through together. Okay. And then we'll see what else happens. Okay. Fun. Okay. So this is fun. Okay. Real quick. What's the last movie that you saw? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Do you go to the movies? I never go to the movies. Uh, now, the last actual movie I saw was Legally Blonde. Oh, like real. you watched it at, house, at like, your house? Yeah, we rented it. We okay. paid money and rented well, what's it. What's the last? You paid money for that? Yeah. Wow, that seems like that should be free on Netflix or something. It's not. It's kind of old. No, we bought. We paid for it. But okay. it was good. So. What's okay. the last oh. movie you went to the movie theater to see? 
it, <laughs> this is funny because um, it was the last action hero movie, and I kept calling it the wrong thing. So I don't even know. Well, what 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 did you call it? Um, I think it was Iron Man. Okay, <laughs> but was it Iron Man, or you called I it don't that? I think so. I no, it was the Captain America. Uh huh. I think so. I've never now, seen any of those. Those movies do not appeal to me. I go, f and my family loves them, and I go with them. Yeah. And it was, I, we were there for four hours, and I was just trying not to be negative Nancy. Wait, because I was time out, so negative Nancy. <laughs> Why were you there for four hours? It it was so long, oh and I was gosh. like, oh my gosh, I can't sit here any longer. So I don't movies aren't my favorite thing because it's they're so long. Well, when Aaron and I were dating, we went to movies all the time because that's just it was fun. That's what we did. And now that we're married, well, obviously we're married, but I don't we don't go to the movies as much anymore because if I want to date with Aaron, I want to like look at him and talk to him. Right. I don't want yeah. to just sit in a movie theater, and if we go too late. Aaron and I went to a movie a couple of years ago. We both slept through the entire movie. In fact, that has not happened one time in our marriage. That's happened several times. And we just pay for a really yeah. nice nap. Yeah. It's awful. That's kind of what I do. Okay, so I, ha I found this little thing online, and it says 11. Do you like dance movies? Yes. Okay, well, this is 11 dance movies that you should have seen by now. Oh, okay. Now, maybe I should tell all the listeners before we go through this, is that Ashley and I actually knew each other when we were little kids, yeah. like we lived in the same town. We both lived in Brownwood and we were actually in dance together, <laughs> which That's to true. me is about the funniest thing ever about my life. Yeah. I have no rhythm. I can't dance. It's, it's awful looking. But you look so cute. We look cute. I have some pictures I'll also put up of us <laughs> on my website just to prove Don't be jealous. Don't that we be were jealous. there. Uh, okay. But these are, I like dance movies. So let's see how many of these you and I have seen. Okay. Okay, out of the 11. Okay, the first one is Footloose. A long time ago. Okay, but probably you, have, you have seen it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, the next is, oh, I've seen Footloose too. The next is Grease. Yes. Yes. How old were you when you saw Grease, you think? Oh. I don't know, but I remember singing Grease in the sixth grade. I was too young. I know that because as an yeah. adult, when I watch it, I think to myself, oh, what? my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, there are right. so many like sexual innuendos in here yeah. that is not even funny. You know, yeah. Um, okay, the next is flash dance. I do not remember seeing that. You know, I don't think I did either. I don't think I was allowed to. Yeah, I feel like I may have. Is that the one where she dances in the rain? Yeah, I think so. In the leg warmers, the leg that's warmers. all I know about it. And Tommy Boy acts like it in at the gas station. Oh right, yeah, <laughs> that's all we know <laughs> so, about yeah. it. Yeah, indirectly, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, Step Up. No. I haven't either. Hmm. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. <laughs> okay, the next is uh, Step Up 2. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope, haven't seen that one either. All right, Save the Last Dance. No. I have seen that. I think I saw that when I was in college. Did I see it? Uh, nah. Okay. Now, this one, I know you have to see it. Dirty Dancing. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Nobody puts baby in a corner. And I can sing all those songs, that too. That is a classic movie <laughs> that I loved. I wasn't allowed to say that either, but I think I did see it at, like, a, I, like, snuck around and saw it, which is bad. Yeah. Probably at my house. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Center Stage. No. Oh, okay. I love this movie, and Aaron used to make so much fun of me. It's kind of dorky, but I used to own it. it was, I liked really? it. Really? Yeah. Center okay. Stage. Okay. Uh, Saturday Night Fever. No. I've never seen it either. It's old school John Travolta. Yeah. Sounds like um, a girl. Girls just want to have fun. Oh, I think Helen Hunt I like is I in this had movie. I have seen it, but I, I don't know. I know the song. That's about it. Yeah, I do know the song. Yes. Okay, Strictly Ballroom. No. Never heard of it even. Mm -mm, I haven't either. Yeah. Okay, High School Musical. <laughs> oh, yes. I totally watched those. <laughs> we have, okay, so <laughs> this spring, how old are your kids? Uh, daughter's 13, uh, and my son is 8, so okay. he does like the basketball. He likes yes. the Bolton. He does. Okay, so I have a, my oldest is 10, and then 9, and then 8, and then 6. And this spring, we, we first entered High School Musical, uh, yes. and Story loves them. Nice. I mean, she can watch them all day long, and we have mm -hmm. watched all of them. Yes, we have it, to. It made the list. And the last Great. one is Honey. 
Oh, no. I don't even know what that is. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't a even. dance? I <laughs> guess. It's a dance movie. I don't know. I know. Okay, so out of the 11 dance movies you should see, I've seen six and you've seen five. All right. And honestly, if people haven't seen these, they're not missing out on much. No, except for High School Musical. And Dirty Dancing. <laughs> yeah, Dirty Dancing. <laughs> it's like a classic, you know. Right. And High School Musical is good, too. I thought... The, um, I wouldn't want my kids to see it because it's high school kids. Like, some of those movies are a little too old for us. But it wasn't yeah. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't that bad. And I'll tell you a quick funny story um, for homeschooling. And so my daughter, Taylor, she actually goes to a, a school now, a private school. It's, uh -huh. a, cool, it's a farm school. Oh, but fun. Anyway, when she was in the fourth grade, she came and she's like, Mom, I really think I want to go to school. And I was like, okay, well, let's talk about it. And I said, why? And she goes, I just really want a locker. <laughs> and I think that I have High School Musical to thank for that. Yes. And so I bought her a locker for her room. I was hey, like, here's a locker. That's a good compromise. Yeah. Okay, what's a farm school? Oh, okay. So it's it's tiny. Oh, it, it is on a farm. Okay. And, like, all the middle school is together, and there are only three seventh grade girls oh, this year. Oh, my word. Yeah, and so... Um, it's, it's much like homeschooling, except for it's better because I'm not having to do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and she's learning so much. And so it's a classical learning type okay. situation. But here's, um, one funny story that we tell. So, um, they're sitting in math class and Mr. Gordon, you know, he started the school and he's, uh, the middle school teacher, um, gets a call from his neighbor farmer and the Farmer said, hey, one of my cows just died. Before we, whatever they do with dead cows, do you want to do something with it? And he said, oh, yeah. And so math was done, and all the middle school ran out and did a di dissection. Oh, my gosh. Cow. On yeah. a cow. Yeah. And it was pretty fantastic. And then, like, they have sheep there at the school, and Taylor was, like, there was, um, a baby had just been born, and Mr. Gordon came in and um, brought the seventh grade girls in and said, hey, do you want to come look? And she got to see it before it could even stand up. Um, so is she learning any farming stuff? Because you call it yes. a farm school. Yeah. Like, she, like, um, they plant their own garden. Um, awesome. They helped in the farm. Like, uh, they had, um, they, they put groups together and built a chicken coop last year. And so one committee, uh, they were the architects and the other committee, you know, so blah, blah, fun. blah. So they built this kind of like chicken mansion and, and then they got chickens and does she like it? Yes. Okay. Loves but it. your son doesn't go. No. Um, it starts in the third grade. He's in second okay. and we did interview, but I don't think it's like all the elementaries together. So he's, he would be the youngest. Right third through fifth and it's just you know we'll revisit it each year but we're yeah. not quite ready yet you know I, I like to hear you say that you'll revisit each year we've always said that with our kids like every year every kid you know yeah we'll, absolutely we'll, and if we have to put kids in different schools that would be awful for me but it, we would do it like you know it would yeah. it's what we do I absolutely. love that ah uh, so fun okay so I was gonna ask you something else about a farm school because <laughs> I I've never even heard of that like no it's cool. It is so cool. Okay. Well, tell me about this. Two, okay, so I take it you like to go to vacation at the beach. Yes, that's okay. my. Place. I do too. Erin and I just went to Mexico this summer, but we had nice. been to St. John's, the island, twice. Oh, And I was fun. looking at your pictures on your blog about um, when you went on your trip around the British Virgin Islands. And yeah. I don't quite understand it from your blog, so I have a few questions. Okay. You went on a sailboat? Yes. It were was there like other a, people sleeping on this sailboat? There were eight. People seven. you didn't know? Seven people. So the um, I trained this wonderful lady, uh -huh. made her work out and sweat and all this stuff, and she just loved me so much for it. Um, her husband is a captain, and they used to always go in charter boats there, and that year they bought like he called her from uh like tortola and said hey honey i bought a sailboat 
I noticed and, on the back of one of the boats it said Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. So that's theirs. He okay. is the captain, Captain Kent. Uh-huh. And so they just wanted to, you know, bless people and take trips, you know, a couple times a year. And so we got to go on the first um, invite trip. So, which was so cool. It was great timing for us and to get away. And Right. Yeah. So, so it's, yeah. One more thing. Everyone on the boat, there were other people vacationing on it as well? Yes, they were all friends of Karen and Kent's. So okay, we so knew this, this Karen wasn't and Kent. like a trip that you booked through somebody. This is a no. trip that they did for you. Yeah, this is their personal trip. I got you. I was like, how do we get on one of these sailboat trips? Yeah. Because that sounds amazing. Right. Yeah, it, it was so cool. So, and kind of the, the neat thing was um, he kept saying, you know, once we're in St. Thomas, we're on island time. Yeah, that's and what it's they say. So casual, and except. We did miss the ferry and had to wait like four hours. So That's there funny. is something to being there on time, but whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so we didn't know the other, there were three other people. And okay. we did know them. Now we know them. Yeah, you got to know them, of Absolutely. course. Absolutely. Um, when Did you scuba dive? No, we did not scuba dive, but we did snorkel. Oh, that's actually what I meant. I always get them confused. Yeah. Snorkel is where you don't really go all the way under. Right. Okay. You don't have the tank. Yeah. I did that in St. John, and it was some of the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, but it was really hard for me. Oh, was it? Oh, I mean, I was like anxiety, panicking. Like, you have to relax. Yeah. Well, I was pretty certain a shark was going to eat me. It was, oh, that makes it rough. Yeah. And so I just, the whole time, because... You just can't see a lot. I mean, you're literally in the ocean before you get over to where the all the, what do you call those things underwater? You know, that you're looking the at. The coral. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So before you get there, when you're swimming from the boat over there, yeah. it's like the great abyss. I mean, it's just it so scary for me. It is scary. It was so fun. Oh, I, I was like, I, I had not anxiety. call it fun for me. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. I just, I had anxiety until I put my head down and I could see under and then I was super calm. Yeah. Well, at least you won't see the shark coming for you. I mean, you know, I know. Your heads down. The first day I was like, where are the sharks? And Well, they kept telling me there's never in the history of this island been a shark attack. Oh, really? No, I think they made that up. Like, they there's so no did. way that the people I was with knew that information off the top of their head. Yeah. They totally made it up. <laughs> and I didn't buy it. I was just like, well, then I but thought, well, if there's never been a shark bite, time's up. It's going to be right. me. You know, that makes it worse. I know. So it was really hard. But St. John Island is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. Yeah. It, it's so neat. Yeah. What we did was we did live on the boat. sailboat. Uh huh. And every day, like we'd wake up and we were anchored at an island, you know, right off the island. And um, I learned a lot too. And then we just, kind of, we had an agenda, but we could change it if we uh -huh. wanted. And so basically our day was wake up. I woke up super early. And um, and then when we were ready, Kent would, you know, take us to a really cool snorkel site. And we called it like snorkel and lunch because we had stopped there and have lunch and uh -huh. snorkel and different spots. And um, the, the coral reefs and the fish were different and even the watercolor and each spot, which was so cool. That's good. And then um, when we were through, we would go to the next island spot and anchor. And then we'd usually go to that island and have dinner or whatever. So and so fun. they were all different, and it was the best. I saw on your blog when I was looking at it that y'all went to Soggy Dollar. Yes. And I've been there. You were there. I've been that, there. We went there on Wednesday. And that was the first time because we didn't have any internet. And so I, this was hard for me to leave my kids. Okay. And they were with friends, like staying here for a couple nights. Yes. Then they were going to here for a couple nights. That's and how we do it. It was, you know, I, this was a big deal for me as a mother. Yeah. And I could, you know, I couldn't talk to them. And so when we got to Soggy Dollar, we had a bar. Uh huh. <laughs> and talked to Taylor Aww. on the phone. It was really cool. And she, she was such a blessing because she was like, Mom, we're doing great. We're having fun. Just don't think about us and enjoy the rest of your vacation. So and I was like, that's sweet. Cool. And I did. Good. Um, that's, so, that's so awesome. So I was thinking the other day, tell me if you would ever do this since we're talking about vacation on a boat. My, since my kids are older and your kids are older, what do you think about um, a, uh, like a houseboat? Um, Have you ever done it? Would that interest you? Yes. 
Like, I was going to be, like, for real, a marine biologist when I grew up. <laughs> like, I was. Yeah. I made, I'm making college plans and uh -huh. all this. And I, I was talking with my dad. I was going to go to Texas A&M Galveston. Uh -huh. And I was going to live on a houseboat. I could do that. I was. And, like, and so. That's and, like, what's the guy on Parenthood? Da uh, do you want yeah. Parenthood? Yeah. Just a few. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I could do that. I love it. And so. But this would I, be like if you had your whole family and you're yeah. not docked and you're just out. Well, I guess that's what they do. They just go out in the lake. Yeah. And you just sleep on it. Would that sound fun to I you? Mean, it's fun to me. I think it would be fun too. I it, think my I think kids it's are great. older, so they wouldn't like yeah. jump off and drown or anything. Yeah, you want to be kind of relaxed with yeah. it. Um, I wouldn't say younger kids. And then, yeah, I mean, there's so much adventure in that. I don't I know. know. Okay, since still talking about vacations, you do do you still do your fitness vacations? I do. Okay, tell me about it and I need you to sell me on it. Like why would I okay. want to go on vacation and, and work yes. out? I know. Okay, so this is a big question I get. So <clears throat> kind tell, of the, yeah, tell us what it is. Okay. It came about from kind of a few years of just feeling frustrated with my personal training. So I can make you lift weights, work out, but then when you leave me, you know, yeah, you got to keep doing something if you want to get to your results yeah. and your goals. Uh -huh. And so I would like tell people like in a few minutes, like, okay, go eat this after your workout, and and then they come back and see me, and I'm like, did you do this? And they're like, ah, oh, I got distracted. Right. And and I'm I get it. I mean, that's it's life, and it just especially as women. I mean, because that's all I know. Uh, when we, yeah. we, I mean, it's just, there's so much we're juggling. So um, a combination of that and then being out on this British Virgin Islands trip because I'm there with a client uh, okay, and all yeah. I wanted to do was make her exercise and she's like, I did not bring you out here to make me work out. <laughs> and, but all in my head, I kept thinking about that. How great is it? Like, it really inspired me. And so... Um, when I came home, I just kept thinking about it, and this this concept came to me. Um, so, okay, let's let's hang out at the beach uh -huh. at a fantastic house. Like I found the house, and um, like just us, you know, some, whatever the group is, yeah, and um, no other responsibilities. And so, and all we're focusing on is the the exercises and how to get the most out of them. So, yeah. So, okay, eight hour, eight workouts in the week doesn't sound. So you do like eight workouts. How, is that twice a day? Yes, twice a day. And then if you wanted a third one, I mean, there's time. But um, I we would do a morning workout and an evening workout. So the morning workout is on the beach. Okay, you know, well that's nice. Yeah, and um, and then the evening workout. This house that I found, and it's. It, they don't all have to stay at this house, but I'm just kind of obsessed with this one because uh -huh. it's perfect. Um, has a, a rooftop, and that's our gym, and we can watch the sunset, ocean behind us, you know, so that's our gym. So have you gotten a good response from it? Yeah, I've got, we, I've got a lot of interest. Um, in fact, I've got some partners now, and we did have one in, on the books for the first week of June, but we, um, my partner, Laura Lee Bryant, she's a holistic nutritionalist, uh -huh. and um, we both had so much with our careers that were happening, we decided to postpone it, so we're looking into the next year, And um, but there's small groups, about 10, 10 is max. So here's what happens when I vacation. Okay. I eat a lot of food. Yeah. I eat a lot of bad food. I don't work out, and I just am lazy. Yeah, and that's so okay. Where, so okay. I, I, I mean, I like this, but are people vacationing, like going yeah. out and doing stuff and well, relaxing yes. and do whatever they want? Well, yeah. The, the afternoon is like if you want to just hang around the pool or the beach or go sightseeing or whatever, You there's flexibility in that. Now, the vacation comes in not having to juggle thinking about all this stuff and life. That's true. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking you're not having to fix food for your family or your kids or take them here or there or get people in bed and uh -huh. toothbrush. You, you take care of yourself, you know. But um, so, but we, we 
learn how to eat before the workout? These were all questions I kept getting, and people don't really know how so to it's do. A, it's a teaching time, and too. After, it is absolutely teaching. Um, there's no, like, like I would do the, we do the prep work. Like, we're not going to chop onions and stuff. Yeah. That, that's done, but I'm not cooking for you. And so we all put it together. Like, so we have menus, and you have options. So um, I did learn something in the last trip. Uh-huh. Not everybody's a morning person. And not That's everybody true. wants to be on the beach at 7 a.m. Nope. working out like I do. So I split our group up. So I had my morning workout group and my later morning workout group. Like now, the brunch those workout. Two, yeah, the brunch group. Yeah. And they're, they really should eat differently. Oh, you know, that's true. You know, the pre-workout and then the post-workout. So it's kind of different. So um, we split it up like that, and then we were we all enjoyed the – the evening sessions, and then, so I spent countless probably hours standing in parking lots, grocery stores, um, everywhere, school, um, talking about what to do after workouts and all this stuff. So I thought, well, let's sit around the pool, and I'll talk forever and give you everything I know, oh, and we'll learn yeah. it together. And then also, um, that amount of time together with the trainer gives enough variety to where you can find something you love to do. That's true. Because that's part of the lifestyle is finding um, um, exercise that, that you enjoy. You like. Yeah, for yes. sure. So did you already like, say where y'all do this trip? This trip is um, held in St. Augustine, Florida. Oh, and I've never been there. So it's like super historic. Okay. Lots to do. Lots of sightseeing. Yes. Hey. So, I'm, I've got I've got a few other partners that we're talking about a trip in um, the next year. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it's fun. fun. It's really fun. Okay. I would. I would. I. I need to get better. <laughs> I'm about to try some new workout stuff in the fall. Okay. Speaking of new workout, we have to tell everybody what I did with you. Yeah. This what you just, do? This just hit me. So, because I'm going to try this new workout thing in the fall. It's not what we're about to talk about because we don't have that here in Austin. But, okay, so you have been in Pilates Magazine. Is that what it's called? Pilates Style Pilates Magazine. Pilates Style Magazine. And you were talking about, is this a new form of Pilates? It is. No, it's a new Pilates system. Oh, or a new equipment. Pilates system. Equipment. Yeah, so it's the same um, exercises. It's It's the same... Pilates method, uh huh. Um, but this new Type Four that's you wear, you wear it. It's a harness and it has bungees. Okay, and let me just clarify real quick. When she says that, it sounds like you're putting on like this major contraption. It's not okay. at all. I've done it. Yeah, like, it's simple. It's, it's so easy. I mean, putting on the thing, putting on the bungees. It's not hard at all. So just okay. That's keep going. important. Thank you for saying yeah. that because it's really simple. And um, so basically when you're wearing it, it gives you the ability to um, assist certain body parts if you need it, like hip flexors or neck that often get strained during certain exercises. And also you can add resistance, which I love. And, um, and then also... How do you add resistance? Did we do that when I did it with you? Yes. Um, by pulling... Really, if you pull oh, the bungee just, in the opposite direction okay. that you're... Moving, it's you have gravity plus yes that band, which it will it can add up to forty pounds of resistance depending Jeez. on how it is. Yeah. Okay, so Ashley, her family lives in New Braunfels, which is not far from um, Austin, and so she was down here visiting them. Was this like this seems like a month ago? Was it like last I, week? I think it was. Two I think maybe ago. a week and a half. Yeah, maybe a week and a half ago, yeah. she was um, in New Braunfels and said that she was coming to Austin to do a little class with people. And of course, I want to try it out. So I brought my friend Megan, and we did the class. Yeah. And that it was, did awesome, too. It was so, it was easy. I mean, not that, I'm not saying easy like it wasn't a good workout, but it wasn't, it wasn't difficult. uncomfortable. It wasn't difficult. It felt good. And I thought I'd be a lot more sore the next day, but it was the day after that. So I guess two days later <laughs> is where I was like, oh, there it is. There's that. But I love that. I love feeling like you worked out. But yeah. I did it. Yes, and you did. I'm here to say it's not hard. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll yeah. put some pictures up of us yes. working out with the tie four. How do you spell that? What's it? It's T Y E. And then four. the number four. Yeah. Okay. So tell me why you were in the magazine. 
Um, okay, so we'll go back a little bit when I was, you know, creating this fitness vacation idea. Um, and then I thought, ooh, I want a cool piece of equipment that, you know, my clients could take home, use all week, and then something to use as portable. And um, so I started looking, and I found the Type 4 on the Physical Mind Institute website, which is weird because that's where I'm trained uh -huh. through for Pilates. And I was like, that's interesting. So I bought it and put it on, and I was like, this is crazy. Why have I never seen it? It's really cool. And I put a few pictures up on my brand-new blog. Uh -huh. I mean, brand-new. And um, a few weeks later, I got a call from the inventor, <laughs> Joan Breibart, and she's she like... She found it on your blog? Yes, because in the search engine it came yes. up. Yes. And they're like... Cause, so I found out that this was a prototype. It wasn't ready yet. But I was able to give her some feedback that I had. Uh -huh. So it hung in my gym for a year and a half. And occasionally I'd put it on and be like, this is so cool, I don't know what to do with it. And then I'd put it, you know. Back, and, yeah. And so the, the, the launch in the first training workshop was last July in New York. And so I was there. And um, So fun. Yeah. There was, there was a handful of instructors from all over the world. Uh-huh. And um, it, it was great. And I came home and I was like, this is what I'm doing because it, it's really a smart, healthy, safe way to work out. And so I've spent the year just pretty much obsessed with Type 4. Okay. And, and then, so the Pilates Style Magazine was the first big media push. And I don't know, I was just, you know, really blessed to have Joan Breibart call and so fly me out to New York. So she invited you. Yeah. <laughs> so, that is so fun. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. So, And you look yeah. great in the magazine. Thank you. That's so fun. I don't think I've ever been in a magazine. Yeah, well, I have now. You have. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What do you know? I know. Um, okay, so are you going to start, do you teach this now at your place? I do. I teach a few classes here, and I also lead workshops to train trainers and instructors. So what I'm mostly trying to do is to introduce it, get as many people in it as I can so that they can have the testimony that you just had and yeah. get it. Um, and then the next step are videos. So videos. Gonna, you, what do you What do you mean by that? So I'll I'm gonna be doing workout videos with Type Four so that not everybody can come to my classes. And then you could I do purchase, that for free, or you purchase yes, it? You purchase. You would purchase your own Type Four. You could do it at home or in your own group or go out. Do that. I purchase your video, or is that for free? Oh, uh, I don't know yet. Okay. Well, because <laughs> you know we're going to have like YouTube yeah. pages well, or and that's really what we're we're putting together like we will have a YouTube um I will have a YouTube channel. Okay. Uh right now the Physical Mind Institute has a YouTube channel that you can see little clips okay, of how to instructors do it. that are doing it. Yeah, but okay. this, these will be actual workouts you can follow about 10 minutes. You know. Okay. Fun. <laughs> that sounds so fun. Now, yeah. Did you ever do Tybo? Um, I think just maybe once. Okay. Like on, yeah. It's just not, funny because every time that you say Ty 4, I think, I think of Billy, ba Billy Banks yeah. or Banks, whatever his name was. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was like, I guess, were we in college when that came out? I think so. Probably. That, it was fun. I liked it. But, That's yeah. so funny. Um, okay, so that magazine, we need this in Austin. I, yeah. I told you when you're here, I don't right. think that people know about this here. I mean, Maybe. although I'm not the expert on what people know in Austin as far as exercise, <laughs> but I've never heard of it until you. Well, let's bring it. I know. I think, I think Austin would really love it. You know, it, it um, was invented in the Pilates world for Pilates. And actually, when you wear it, doing Pilates, it um, is a reformer. So it's a wearable reformer, which is fantastic. Um, I am taking it outside of Pilates into the sports world. Oh, and yeah. It's uh, the, the um, flexibility and movement mo um, potential with uh -huh. it is just, uh, you know, taking it to the next level for athletes and getting, you know, healthy spines and hips and shoulders and all Have this. Have you had any success with that? I have. I've gotten a few athletes in it, um, and it's, 
you know, we're, we're getting them started, but mostly I'm having coaches approach oh, me, yeah. which is really cool, you know, and so they're thinking, you know, I need this for my athletes. So that is what we are in the works of building and putting together Type 4 Sports. Okay. And it will make for more competitive athletes that have a smaller chance of getting injured. Well, there you go. That's yeah. awesome. Yes. Yes. Hey, I have a question for you. Okay. Would you and Jeremy, or maybe you have, would y'all ever renew your wedding vows? Uh, yes. We have not, but yes. You have? Oh, you would. No, no, we have not, but we would. Yes. Okay, because I'm always telling Aaron that I think it would be fun for us to renew our wedding vows. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. But you know what Aaron says? What? Aaron's always like, why, why would we renew our vows? Like, we made a vow to each other. <laughs> like, and a vow is like a covenant and it's a promise. So why yeah. do we need to renew it? How about, let's call it review our vows. Review? Yeah. I'm just thinking, like, I think it'd be fun to have people that are in my life now at my wedding. <laughs> I know. You know? Actually, like, because of Pinterest now, I'm always thinking, man, I could have such a cool wedding now. Right. Not that I want another wedding. No, but everything would be so different. Yeah, it would be. Would you wear the same dress, you think? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that I would. I think I would have a different style is what I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think everything about my wedding would be different. Yeah, I think a lot would be. I don't know. That's a good question. I know. Mm -hmm. um, but Aaron thinks it's dumb. But I do have some friends Funny. that I have. Um, yeah. But I read something the other day about all these celebrities that have renewed their vows and That's how a lot of them, like, they renew their vows and then, like, within a year, they're divorced. Oh. So it was kind of like an it effort. Was, it was kind of like a, yeah, what are we doing here? Oh, that's sad. I know. Who, who did well, I Well, let's read? not then. Let's not I know, do that. right? Jo oh, remember Kate? Did you ever watch John and Kate plus uh, eight? Just, yeah, eight. Just, John like, a couple... <laughs> episodes Not okay much. I remember they renewed their vows and then like within a year they were hmm I know as I read that Mariah Carey and who's she married to um Nick oh. Cannon like they renew oh, their yeah. vows every single year oh really See, that's a little over the top wouldn't you say I mean yeah like years are short they what's go by the, so fast what's the point I know I know I know um okay so what grade is Taylor in she is she will be in eighth Eighth grade. So I have yeah. a girlfriend who, when her kids started getting in middle school, she started to count. This is going to make you cry. It's so sad. She started mm -hmm. to count down the summers that she had left. No, we're not doing that. Isn't that <laughs> so sad? Yes. Well, you know, Jeremy and I were um, talking out kind of a 10-year plan, you know, just kind of okay. looking up. That is sick. Like, I know. It's awful. Yeah. Like, basically 10 years, it's totally different. Our lives, our kids are a little older. Oh my and gosh. I just don't want to think about it. Yeah. I mean, in 10 years, my youngest will be driving. Yeah. And she'll be, I think, the only one at home. I think everyone else will be gone. Isn't that yeah. crazy? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Too That's fast. why I was talking to a, we were talking to some friends this weekend. I was at a retreat. And we were talking about marriage for some reason. The retreat was not about marriage at all. But we talked about how important it is for women to love their husband. I, I told her, I said, I love Aaron more than I love my kids. Mm -hmm. And my kids know that. And mm -hmm. it's verbally expressed in our house. Not that I don't love my children. I would go to the moon for them. Yes. But they know that I love their dad more than I love mm -hmm. them. Because, it, like, like you just said, in a matter of like 12 years, we have yeah. zero kids in our house anymore. And we have years left in our marriage. Yes. You know? Absolutely. Yep. How do you and Jeremy make sure that y'all foster that well? Um, well, from the beginning, since we had, it was very evident that we had this little princess in our home. Uh -huh. um, you know, and when you have a little girl and they become just the center of your world, uh -huh. um, we, we had to pull back after a year and realize, like, you know, kind of change things up a little bit as far as just the way we looked at it. And we kind of just intentionally determined that, He's king, I'm queen, and our kids are, you know, she's a princess. Uh -huh. But that's the order of our house, right. you know. Yeah. And our, our um, you know, our relationship, and if it comes first, and if we need to, you know, talk it out, you know, you guys can wait. And so I, I just think it's um, balanced, but I do think it's really healthy. They need to yeah. see that. I think it's healthy, too. I think it sets them up for good expectations in their own marriage as well. 
Um, and then it just shows the, like the priority in our house. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the priority in our family is our marriage. You know, Absolutely. because a good marriage is going to have good parenting, and a good marriage to have a good home. I really believe all that. Um, what's your favorite date night? Oh, well, okay. So we like to go into East Nashville. Yeah. Just something, you know, dinner. Uh -huh. Not so much the movie. Where I do you out. eat over there in East Nashville? Because we lived um, in Murfreesboro. Uh, I, we've been in Austin almost six years, so that's crazy. But that's there was crazy. one restaurant that we used to go to all the time, and I can't remember the name of it, but if you said it, I would. Uh, it's a Mexican will. restaurant. Oh, we only go to Chewy's, really. Oh, okay. we have Chewy's. So. In Murfreesboro, yeah. Um, our last, like, what we did um, when we went over there last time, we went to the pharmacy oh. and then the Patterson House, and that was just great. I think I've been to the Patterson House. What's the pharmacy? Um, it's cool. Like you need to go there when you're back. Is it a in restaurant? Yeah, restaurant, hamburgers, just East Nashville. Okay, cool. we're coming through Nashville later this summer. Oh, you should guys should stop by. Do here. Do y'all go to Knoxville often? Do you go to East Tennessee at all? Never. Okay, we're gonna be there for a while, and we're trying to think of some fun things to do with the kids around there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have. I know. I okay. I went to Chattanooga once. Awesome. Aaron's parents okay. live outside of Chattanooga, so we'll be oh, there they too. Do. Yeah. That's really the only other place that we've been because yeah. we come to Texas. All the time, like, yeah, because your family's yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So fun. Okay, Ashley, this has been so good. So fun. I don't know if you've sold me yet on a vacation where I have to work out <laughs> twice a day. Well, I'll keep working on that. Keep working on it, and maybe that I, that would be good for me. Now, I take that back. I would do that with some girlfriends. Right. We also had, like time to chill and it sounds like yes. you do you know yeah. so that might be so fun still time oh there's so much food like good food and also like we had cake on wednesday night that that last trip because it was um somebody's birthday and that's so what you should do in life. life this is life yes. um you know there are there are some drinks can you drink wine on this vacation yes. or is that against the against the oh. exercise routine you may drink wine okay so it's more about I don't know. It's just about enjoying it. Like, you would come and really love it. It's about a lifestyle, which is what I like. It's practicing, introdu getting introduced to some new, you know, foods. Yeah. and. Well, here's the deal, too. This just hit me. How many times have people thought, like, man, I wish I could have, like, a trainer just come live with me for a week. Yes. And, like, show me some workouts and show me how to eat. So then you get that on the beach. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, that, is that it is. right there might have sold me. Yeah, you live with the personal trainer, and you live with uh, a nutritionalist. Okay. And and we're there to talk. Like, you have full availability all week. Okay. That that might have done it for me, because I can see the value in that for okay. sure. So, so, also, it's kind of um, dispelling myths as much as possible, because there's so many awful trends, uh -huh. honestly. Uh -huh. So, workouts don't have to be awful. Um, some workouts, you're going to be sweaty. You're tearing your body down. Some of them... The purpose and goal should be to rebuild and repair your body. So not every workout is going to be this terrible workout. See, that's like that's stuff that people need to know because I think if I'm not like sweating yeah. and yes. breathing hard, then I'm not really working out, which isn't true. It's not true. Um, you need to be repairing and allow and um, like with the Pilates, it it's such a great workout, but it also encourages uh, your body to rebuild. With the stretching, yeah, and, you know, and then and it's kind of you know slowing it down. Some of these kind of workouts, you know, because I do like kind of the hyper, you know, sweaty yeah. kind of thing. But I promise, if I'm on the beach, I can slow it down. You know, yeah, like I just calm down my brain uh -huh. to where you can sit there and stretch or you know uh, more precision movements. Right. It's just, it's a great atmosphere. Okay, yeah, I'm in. That oh, sweet. Awesome. I sold you. You sold me. <laughs> and it's like a week at the beach with no other responsibilities and working out and eating good food. Okay, I'm in. Awesome. Um, okay, Ashley, this has been so much fun. Cool. Thanks Thank for having so me on. This much. is great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Guys, thanks so much. I told you that you'd love Ashley, and she might have just inspired me to go on a fitness vacation by the end of that. Honestly, hearing about it, it didn't sound good at all, but after she explained it to me, I think I would do it. So 
I hope you loved it. Again, anything that you might need to get from here, you can find on my website, jamieiv.com. And I'm linking all the links on the blog. And you can check out Ashley's website at ashleybensonfitness.com. If you can't remember that, it's also on my webpage, jamieiv.com. I hope you subscribe to this podcast, The Happy Hour, via iTunes. And I will see you next week with another guest. If you have any questions or you have anyone that you want me to interview or anything, send me an email, contact me, leave me a message. I love hearing from you guys. Really, I really do. So let me know what you like. And you can let me know what you don't like, but I'd rather hear what you do like. Or if you don't like something, at least tell me something you do like too. Okay, thanks guys. See you next time.